to move the ECG machine needle. So we say during the EV nodal conduction heart is electrically silent. These are the first two events. Next event is onset of depolarization of ventricle. The first portion of the ventricle which undergoes depolarization is septum of ventricle. Septum of ventricle is depolarization produces a small vector moving rightward and upward but it is a, not a slow vector it is a very fast vector. Is that right? After that now current will reach to the it has passed through this area it has stimulated the septum now there are branches coming out of Purkinje system. Is that right? There is right bundle branch and there is left bundle branch. Right? Now wave of depolarization comes from these bundle branches and their Purkinje fibers to the ventricular myocardium. Let's suppose I show you that these are Purkinje cells. These two are Purkinje cells. And they are connected with what are these? Myocardial cells. So naturally, first cell will stimulate the second in a fast way and then that will conduct current to the third then deposition will go to the fourth cell and fifth cell. A very important point to be noted. What is the very important point to be noted? That Purkinje fibers are in the deeper myocardium. Right? Myocardium has two parts. This myocardium, let's suppose this is myocardium innermost part, inner myocardium, this is the middle myocardium and this is outer myocardium in the ventricles. This is called subendocardial myocardium because this myocardium is just under the endocardium and this myocardium is just under the pericardium. So some people call inner myocardium as subendocardial myocardium and outer myocardium as subpericardial myocardium because here is your endocardium and here it is your pericardium. Is that clear? Now the point which should be noted is that this Purkinje system it is not in the middle of this it is into very deep myocardium or inner myocardium. So which part which part of the myocardium will be first depolarized that is the inner myocardium. Is that right? So depolarizing currents are generated in the major part of the ventricle first in the inner myocardium. Is that right? So inner myocardium is first stimulated and then depolarization moves outward again because specialized conduction system is embedded in deepest most myocardium or this specialized conduction system is very near to the deepest myocardium or inner myocardium. So inner myocardium is first stimulated and then wave of deposition moves outward. What does it mean? It means that first of all these tissues are depolarized. Is that right? These are first depolarized and then after that wave of depolarization moves like this. What do you really see? That wave of depolarization is moving from inner myocardium to outer myocardium. Is that right? Now, another point which you have to note it, that left ventricle is three times thicker than the right ventricle. So naturally, depolarizing currents are produced in the left ventricle strongly and as compared to the left ventricle, depolarizing currents and vectors are produced in the right ventricle relatively weak. Am I clear? Because left ventricle is thick. So depolarizing vector, let's suppose this is depolarizing vector. This is directed like this. It is stronger vector. But here because it is thin, so vector is smaller. And there is not one vector. Many, many vectors are produced. Is that right? These vector represent depolarization of right ventricle and these are representing depolarization of? Yes left ventricle. Is that right? Now all these vectors are produced almost simultaneously and you know when multiple vectors are produced simultaneously they can be added together. So when left ventricle is undergoing depolarization right we can make a single vector. This vector represent left ventricular depolarization. Is that right? And this vector represent right ventricular depolarization. 
you can see left ventricular vector is stronger and right ventricular depolarization vector is weaker. Is that right? Again, let me repeat it. Ventricle is depolarized in three stages. First of all, septum is depolarized. Then left and right, major ventricular portions are depolarized from end to out. And lastly, we'll discuss basal areas are depolarized. When left ventricle is depolarized, a vector is produced like this. And when right ventricle is depolarized, the vector is produced like that. Now, left ventricular major depolarization vector is downward and leftward. Right ventricular depolarization is downward and rightward. But left ventricular vector is stronger and right ventricular vector is weaker. Because both of them are same time, right, they are generated at the same times, so they can be added together. And if we add them together, we add them together, this is the vector which represent the depolarization of, yes, this, this vector represents the depolarization of major part of both ventricles. Is that right? Again, this vector is left ventricular depolarization vector, this is right ventricular depolarization vector, but because they are in the same time, so they can be added together. But because left ventricular vector is stronger and right ventricular vector is weaker, so net vector is directed downward and leftward. So this is the net vector representing the major ventricular depolarization. Major left and right ventricular depolarization. Am I clear? And once septum is depolarized and major part of ventricles are depolarized, then eventually, depolarization wave will reach to the basal area. These are the basal part of ventricles. So they will be the last to be depolarized and here depolarizing current is moving from, okay, let me make the diagram more clear. Now, here the current will be moving from down to up and rightward. Here also it is moving upward and rightward. So there will be small vectors made by the depolarization process in the basal part of the ventricles. But these vectors are moving upward and rightward. Why it is so? Because again, why it is so? The reason being that this is moving upward and rightward, this is also moving upward and rightward. These two vectors represent ventricular basal depolarization base of the ventricle undergoing depolarization. This is the last depolarizing event in ventricular depolarization. These are small vectors moving upward and rightward. But remember, all these electrical vectors which are produced in the ventricle, these are fast vector because ventricles have special fast conduction system which is called Purkinje system. Am I clear? Any question up to this? So, what have we learned? that during one cardiac cycle up to now, how many vectors are generated one by one? How many electrical events are generated one by one? Right? Okay, let me make this diagram again, but without much revision. Let's suppose I draw your heart here. These are left and right. Remember again, atrial uh, ventricular, atrial myocardial tissue and ventricular myocardial tissue is separated by the fibrous septum. This is the fibrous septum and the only one point through which the current can move from atria to the ventricle is through in a healthy heart, current can move through, yes, AV node. Is that right? And of course, here is specialized Purkinje system. Again.